Hello there, superstars. You want to play a game? I'm going to teach you today how to get more speaking opportunities four different ways using Facebook in your pajamas. It's going to be fun. How about that? Let's play. We'll be right back. You're watching Best in Business with Manny Lopez, where passion becomes success. Alrighty there, superstars. So here's how we're gonna play. Who wants to win $100 cash? How about that? I'll go cash app you, Venmo you, whatever it is. $100 for the first person that can guess what these four words are. Very simple, that's it. Unlimited entries, unlimited comments. First one to get these four messages right here, these four words, these are the four ways you're gonna be able to get more speaking opportunities using Facebook in your pajamas, right? Just like I'm doing it right now. So all you gotta do is guess. Good morning to you, Sally Ann Martinez. Welcome to the party. Uh, anybody wanna cave, uh, get some options here? $100 for the very first person that guesses what these four words are. I'm gonna give you some hints. I'm gonna give you some training. I'm gonna share with you my favorite ways to get more speaking opportunities using Facebook. Oh, Ava's got a delivery. Hey, princess. Oh, I got a shake. Say hello. You're on Facebook. Say hi. Show them your bracelet. Oh, where's your bracelet? Oh, it's not here. She has a bracelet, but it's not here. Go get it. I want to see it. Go show the world. <laughs> All right, folks. So, uh, yes. So, if you're just tuning in, first person to guess these four words. Uh, what they are. These are the four methods that I love to use to get more speaking opportunities in my pajamas. Yes, with my nice funky hair. Y'all liking my hair? Y'all liking my hair? Two is messages. That is incorrect. That is not the answer for number two. Now, the goal here is not to guess one. You want to guess all four because uh, if you guess just one and give it to somebody else, <laughs> they're going to guess all four and then you lose. So uh, let's play. All right. Mm. Tastes like cookies. Okie dokie. So my favorite ways to get more speaking opportunities, right? This is whether you're doing live events, you're doing podcasts, whatever it may be. Uh, I'm usually looking like this most of the time when I'm closing these deals. <laughs> so I'm giving you guys the real flow. This is how Manny flows uh, normally on a daily basis. If I go do my hair, it's because I have to do some type of live stream or an interview. So uh, this is normally how Manny looks. So what do you guys think this message is? I've got one guess so far. Remember, the first person to guess this, I'm going to Venmo you or send you in your cash app or whichever way you receive your digital money, $100. Who wants 100 bucks? I mean, it's free money. Not 100 Manny bucks. This is dollars. You can actually go use these anywhere. <laughs> uh, well, mostly anywhere. I guess anywhere dollars are accepted. Wherever you can do your Venmo and your cash app, right? All right. So... We've got G. What do you think this is, guys? This right here is, uh, let's give you some hints. Well, what I do with this, I've created my own. I have um, utilized this method to grow my influence because what you'll have is the ability to reach people who are already influential to the market you want to reach, all right? Boom! Sylvia has got number one. It, yes, it is group. So uh, those paying attention right now, you've got number one, Facebook groups. So Facebook groups, how do you use that to build your speaking opportunities? Well, what I do is I tell my members, I'm having clients that I talk to every week and they ask me, Manny, how can I get more reach to what I'm doing? How can I get on more stages, more podcasts, more interviews? And I'm like, dude, how many groups are you a part of? Ask yourself, how many groups where your target market is in there and you are serving in that group? You're answering questions, you're creating content, you're building relationships with the admin of the group, you're even creating your own groups, right? Facebook groups are a powerful, powerful strategy to get more speaking opportunities. I'm constantly getting asked to speak into groups, to co-host with groups, to get into other groups' events, and it's a powerful strategy. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure you are finding groups that have your target market. I talk to you guys about this all the time. The art of business, audience, result, 
time frame. You get specific on those, you've got yourself your business model. All right. So, uh, Sylvia, congratulations. You got the first one. But in order to win a hundred dollars, you got to get all four. So, Sylvia, hang on to that one. You're going to need it later. <laughs> uh sylvia says messenger number two this girl is on fire yes messenger is number two you guys are good at this somebody's been playing hangman for a while sylvia good job there let's see if you can get number three and number four because if you do you got yourself a hundred dollars congratulations we'll see if you do you got two so far and you've also given everybody else that's watching the other two as well remember that so uh I wouldn't be, I wouldn't maybe want to go and give number three unless you also have number four. <laughs> just maybe, uh, just maybe, because you might just give somebody else the answer and then they walk off with all of your work. That would really suck. Imagine Sylvia gives us three out of the four and then someone swoops in and gets the other ones. Ah, man. All right. So let's talk about number two then. All right. Did I answer your guys' questions? If you have any questions on groups, Facebook groups, do you have any questions on anything that I'm teaching you today? This is my personal cell number, not my personal one from like T-Mobile, uh, but this goes right to my cell phone. It comes in as a text message. I can text message you back and I can answer any questions you have privately. So maybe you have a question about Facebook groups and you don't want the world to see it, then uh, go ahead and shoot me a text. I'm more than happy to answer those for you and it's completely free. You do get no invoice at the end of my conversation. Uh, I just love to serve, all right? so. Yes, groups and messenger, right? So groups, you got to get in front of groups. You got to find people. And it's very important, the target market. Don't just join groups to join groups. One of the things I told my members to do is start a show where you interview people that have a large amount of people in groups. Ah, huh, simple, right? Now you're building relationships with the admin. Those admins are more than going to be happy enough to share your message now in those groups. They're going to get on your show. So now they're going to share it to their groups Win, 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 my friends. You've got to look for those win wins. All right. So, yes, Fred, groups and messenger is one and two. You're coming, you're coming late to the party there, buddy. Oh, he's got, oh, do we have, oh, we got ourselves a winner. He has nailed all four. We have groups, we have messenger, we have teaching, and we have collab. Dang, he's good. Welcome to the party, Fred. He just came in and souped it up. Congratulations there, buddy. All right, so uh, Fred Fusimo wins $100. Congratulations there. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the training then. So now that we have our winner, well, let's get into it. So Messenger, how do you use Messenger to get more speaking opportunities? Well, I don't know if you know this, but Messenger is almost as good as having the cell phone number. You've got over a 90% read rate, right? Red rate or whatever you call it, right? Open rate. Uh, I was figuring out from the beginning. <laughs> awesome. So, oh, he was been here in the beginning. Okay, I didn't see him in there. He was just like hiding in the back. I ain't gonna say it unless I have that. <laughs> Smart man. So let's go ahead and fill it in then. Right? So we've got groups. Right? That works. We've got messenger. We've got teaching. And we've got collab. Perfect. All right. So now that we've got the answers, let's get into how you do this, right? That's the missing piece. Everybody said, okay, well, that's the answer. But how do you do it strategically, right? Where it actually works. You're not just trying to get views. You're not just trying to get likes and shares. We are wanting conversations with people that say, I want to talk to you about what you do in your business, right? Look at Frank. One of the things he does recently is joining a lot of groups. He's serving in those groups. He's using that number one option. And Fred, tell him a little bit about what you do in the comments and how groups is working for your business. All right, this is actually a really good segue because I've had a conversation with him on how he's using groups and how it's working for him and some of the conversations that are now popping up in his messenger. Pow. Messenger is where you want to have the conversation, right? That's where you take it into just say, hey, let's have that one-on-one -on -one talk let's see where we can create an opportunity to collaborate, right? Most people aren't using Messenger. Are you talking to 10 to 20 people a day in Messenger? I'm talking about 50 people a day, all right? 50 people a day. Let me show you what, what probably Friday. Let's just look at Friday. So, so far today already, okay? Let me just put this into perspective. 
one, two, three, four, five conversations already started today. It's 9 a.m., okay? Uh, let's see. Did I have any on Sundays? I usually don't do much. I didn't even touch my phone Sunday. It wasn't even with me. Uh, so Friday. All right, so Friday. These are just ones that are still left, right? Uh, Friday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 conversations that were going on on Friday. That's a pretty slow day. Uh, but normally if I'm responding to say in a comment, right? Like let's say I do a post and I'll share something like, hey, I'm looking for XYZ audience for a specific project, some special project, right? Or I'm looking to do XYZ collaborative, who's looking to collaborate as well, right? And then utilize those conversations to then ask questions, not to just send them a bunch of links. Don't do the link to messenger on first contact. <sighs> Easy way to kill a relationship. Just focus on just simple opening the conversation. I mean, think about it. When you meet someone for the first time, are you slamming your business card in their face? Hey, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> no. And everyone that does that to you, you're over here like, dude, that is just weird, right? Don't do that to people digitally. Just have a conversation. It's simple. Have a simple conversation. And you can look like this and have a conversation. You don't have to worry about it, right? I hate doing my hair. I had to do my hair so many times that it's, I'm running out of gel. Like these big ass things of gel constantly. It's annoying. I don't want to do them. So I'd rather look like this all day unless somebody's like, man, let's do an interview on your show. And I'm like, ah. Uh, do I got to? I got to do my hair. Ah, uh, uh, that's fine though. <laughs> I have fun though. All right. All right, let's see. Fred, he says, I help entrepreneurs and investors increase their credit limits in order to take their business off the ground. All right, you, uh, do, 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 do. you need to teach in groups, not sell. Number one key. Yes, biggest thing that people fail on is they're trying to use links. They're trying to sell. They're trying to use offers. And they think somehow their group admins are going to allow them to do that. Right. I see it all the time. They're trying to do it in my groups constantly. People that don't even become a free contributor on our platform are like, hey, look, promote my links in your groups, Manny. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no one's going to do that for you. All right. There's got to be a win win. So if you're going to come into my group, and you want to be a contributor, you want to share content, you want me to allow you to share content, then simply serve. Just say, look, I want to teach a concept, Manny, you're not teaching. I've got some experience with, I just give away free resources. That will then result in people joining you in your messenger to say, hey, I've got questions about what you were sharing on that live stream. Can we set up a call? And bam, you could be filling your appointment calendar constantly with just having messenger and groups going on. Right. Very simple stuff. And then let's look at teaching. What do I mean by teaching? Right. The concept, very simple, is to take whatever it is that you get paid for, whatever that is. OK. And literally give that process away publicly for free. Right. That's how you win today. You can't look at the marketing campaign strategies of yesteryear. It is not the same. Today, today we are an information overload. We're in a saturation of information. I go scroll on social media, right? Every minute somebody's posting something. Every minute on YouTube, 72 hours of video is uploaded. Every minute. And that was years ago, right? Just imagine today. It's probably close to maybe 100 hours of content being uploaded every minute on YouTube. That's just YouTube alone. That's not Twitter. That's not Facebook. That's not Instagram. That's not TikTok. That's not all of these other social media companies that are creating massive amount of users and content. And you think you're going to still try to sell information. People, 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 please. You got to understand if you want to win today, get your information out there as much as possible. You got to understand the law of averages. OK, 97%. 97 out of 100 people, right? Just look at that. Take 100 people, put them in a room and 100 of them and you give them your secret sauce for free. You could give them 99% of the way and they just have to take 1%. 97% won't even take that 1% step. Only three out of 100 that you give it to will take action without you. They'll try to actually implement. They'll go through your blueprint and try to actually do it. The other 97, they need your help. 
they are going to be stuck. They don't take action for whatever reason, right? Whether it's no time, no motivation, no skill sets, no strategy, fear, doubt, whatever that may be, you're the one that's been up the mountain a hundred times and you're going back up and down that mountain a bunch of times. They are standing at the foot of the mountain looking up and like, oh, I can't do that. That's not way. There's no possible way. Oh, I've never, I've never even been up a hill, let alone a mountain, right? But you, you went up the mountain. You, you were there the first time. You're like, oh, man, that's a pretty mountain. But you went up there like, oh, it wasn't even that high. Look, nah, I'm already there. Oh, pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to go up now and sing again and over and over and over. And then you created a path that makes it a lot faster. And then you made a path that makes it more fun, more joy, more efficiency, and it brings you satisfaction, whatever simple way, right? Now you have that process. Give that away in groups, in messenger, by teaching it, by collaborating with people. You give away that process and that positions you as the expert in that process. And those 97, most people are chasing the three. Y'all chasing the three right here. Instead of chasing the 97 people that don't take action if you share it for free. What you should be doing is focusing on in getting cell phone numbers in exchange for that data, right? So when I have a conversation going in Messenger, when I have a group going on, whenever I'm teaching, whenever I'm looking at a collab, first thing I do is text. Why? Why text? Why don't I focus on getting my group's huge numbers? I could care less how many people are in my groups. I could care less how many people I have in my messenger, right? As far as teaching goes, I can create as much content or as little as content as I want. As far as collaborative opportunities go, by using these methods, I am overflow, overwhelmed. It is the cup is, it's like, think of it like I've ran over one of those fire hydrants and the water just gushes out. That water is opportunities and I can't contain it. There is way too many opportunities. I have, here, I'll give you my numbers, okay? When I started in 2016 on a complete mobile strat, I literally threw away my email list, right? Let me show you the numbers. I did a case study in 2016. I came across a quote. It said, Manny, what is it, Manny? <laughs> it said, text offers are redeemed eight times more than emailed offers. And then I found another quote. It said by 2014, this was back in, no, 2012, by tw that's when I went to have a mobile strategy, started collecting data was 2016. But having a mobile strategy started building apps was like 2012. That is when I first was like, whoa, I need to have a mobile strategy. By 2014, 50% of the internet traffic was gonna be coming through mobile devices. And my company had zero mobile strategy, nothing at all. That's when I went into building apps, and then 2016 is when I looked at a case study where I said that I think it was that the text offers are redeemed eight times more than emailed offers. I said, well, let me test this. Right. And so I had an email list that was about 6,500. Right. How many how big is your email list right now? Right. Comment. Well, how big is your email list? Mine at that time was six thousand five hundred and seventy one people that were qualified. There was over ten thousand. I filter got rid of the duplicates. Sixty five hundred people. Right. My text list, I had 506, no wait, 532, okay? So I got 6,571 emails. That was years of networking and building and connecting to get those, can I, it wasn't just me buying a list, right? Those are actual handshakes and connections and people that gave me their business card and expos when I sponsored events, all, I mean, years of investing, probably hundreds of events. Okay, to get 6,571 emails, 532 texts. I wasn't really focusing on a mobile strategy. And I was like, ah, text, I don't, I don't even use any systems there. But then I did a case study and I ran the numbers. I had an event and I was like, yeah, I'm going to host an event. So I'm going to invite these people and I'm going to give them a free ticket. Let's see how many people sign up. Out of 6,571 emails, 506 of those were opened. That means 7.7% open rate. That was unique opens, not cumulative opens, not how many times people open it four or five times. Somehow people open it 17 times or whatever. Somehow it counts as 17 opens. Now, 506 unique opens. And most of you are getting around the same percentage, about an 8% open rate on your email list. 
okay? That means only 506 people saw the opportunity they actually wanted to share with them. The other 6,000 plus didn't even see the message. Let me repeat that. Over 6,000 people didn't even see the message. They didn't get the invite. If they didn't see it, it doesn't exist. You got to make sure you're seen, right? That was a big eye opener for me. Then I looked at how many people registered. Out of the 506 emails, we got 33 people to click on the link and go register for the event, okay? Now, to some people, that may be good. Hey, a free email broadcast on my YouTube list, bam, or your email list, and bam, you got, uh, you know, 33 registrations to your event. Woohoo! Right? Now, let me show you why I threw away my email list. I had 532 cell phone numbers. I sent it out. I had 516 messages were opened. That was a 96.9% .9 open rate. And out of that 516 opens, 256 people went and registered for my event. What? Crazy, crazy numbers. At that point, I threw in my email. I'm like, I am never sending an email broadcast again. Why? I'm going to go focus 100% on text. I'm going to get eight times more results at minimum. So looking at that structure, your business should also be doing the same. Focus on your groups to gather cell phone numbers, your messenger to gather cell phone numbers, your teaching to gather cell phone numbers. When somebody wants to collab with you, first thing should be what's your cell phone number? Everybody's got one, right? So focus on a mobile strategy. Even if you're just using your cell phone to copy and paste back and forth, that's better than sending out emails. I'm telling you, you're going to get a better response. You're going to have direct conversations. People are actually going to see your stuff. Think about it. You guys right now, Angie, you got, or Sally Ann, you've got a thousand people in your email list. How many of those would you say are actually seeing your open rates like what are your open rates on that what's a response rate you're getting right i want to know if anybody knows so understanding that concept that is a very powerful strategy and you can do all of this in your pajamas this is what i do this is how i look this is how i strategize right teaching teach 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 stop selling guys stop selling just teach it just teach it and give them a direct access hey guys text me if you have any questions you wonder why you see the same message scrolling right here. I have a question for Manny. Send him a message. Every time I do a live, I get text messages. Most of them are new numbers. It's a brand new number pops in. I don't have the number saved. I'm like, cool. It's a new person. Let's have a conversation. Who are you? Oh, I just saw your live on Facebook. Awesome. What can I answer for you? Oh, I got it. Da, 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 da. And then bam. And whatever happens, it could be a video I send them. It could be a blueprint I give them. It could be my calendar. Hey, let's get on a call. I'd love to show you how to do this, right? So looking at that, imagine your business. If you're creating speaking opportunities. You're a speaker. You want to get on stages. You utilize these methods. Your groups, that's going to allow you to see new people that are event producers, people that host events, that have podcasts, and share your content. Be one that has no fear of a mic. No fear of a camera. That's how you be seen. Messenger, you have the conversations. You can literally reach out to any speaker, any speaker bureau, any event producer, any event producer's company, and use Messenger to start the conversation, right? Asking, hey, what can I do to serve you? How can I create more value to your audience? When you find people that are looking for different opportunities, a lot of people, they'll see my post. And they just go straight to Messenger. They're like, hey, Manny, I saw you had a post about this. You're looking for this type of speaker. I'm more than happy to chat with you. And then, bam, I've got a lot of speakers at my events because they just hit me up in Messenger. That's simple. I am an event producer. I put people on stages. These are how I get people on stages. I see people that are teaching. I'm like, bro, you teach on that topic? I would love to have that topic at my event. Messenger, people are hitting me up constantly. I hit up them. Hey, you're a speaker on this topic. I'm looking for somebody on a topic. Let's chat. Groups. I'm constantly seeing people that are posting my groups, what they post, how they post, what they're talking about. And a lot of that determines whether or not they become a speaker in my live events, right? And collab. When people just look at a way to collab, and what I mean by collab, it's not to say 
the focus is on what you can win from that. How do you get on their stages, right? A lot of people are teaching this concept of OPP, other people's platforms, right? And it's strategized, right? It's the idea that you find people that are influential to the market you want to reach and you great an opportunity that says, hey, I can check that off for you and you can check that off for me. Win-win strategies. Plus, if they're already influential to the market you want to reach, it's a lot easier for you to find people that will then collaborate with you. Think about it, right? If I have Les Brown at my event, right? And I go to another speaker and say, hey, I'd love to have you at my event. I've got Les Brown at my event. Do you think they're going to now pay attention a lot easier than just saying, hey, I've got Joe Schmo at my event, right? Look at the power behind influence. And again, it's remembering how they are influential to the market you want to reach, right? There's a reason I collaborate with Les Brown and these big names out there because they are influential to speakers, coaches, authors, and consultants, which are my target market. And since for you, you got to do the same thing. You look at your target market, the idea of who you do business with, and you then create relationships with people who already have influence in that market. So then you only have to build one relationship. And now you can reach thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people, just by connecting with one person that then puts a stamp on your business. This is what I do for businesses constantly. I have my program, Network of Influence, where we literally create influencers. I just stamp my name on them. Hey guys, just check out this business. Here's what they do. Get a stamp on them. And now people are like, ah, oh, you do business with Manny. I have to talk with you. Oh, you connect with me. Oh, you're on Manny stages. Okay. Let's have you at our stage. It's just a simple way to say, look, I'm influential. People know when they connect with someone that is connected through me, I have done some sort of vetting in most cases, right? If they're just connected on Facebook, I can't promise you guys I know these people, right? Uh, but if they're listed on my app in my experts feature area, I vetted them. I know these people get results in that area that they specialize in. That's literally outlined on that platform. So people know I have a certain way that I filter people, right? My blacklist, for example, is over 500 people. My client list and members for this type of program is just over 200 in that program. Very simple, right? When people understand what you can bring to the table and how you work and connect with people around your network, it's easy for them to say, oh, well, if they're connected through Manny, well, they must be XYZ. They must focus on serving first. They must do the X one, right? So you got to look at that as a powerful way to say, hey, who has my target market that I know if I was in their room on their stage, that would be a perfect group for me to be speaking in front of and build a relationship with them. It's not hard. Using these methods, you have the ability to reach people. You can just connect with them. Like I wanted to chat with Elena Cardone. You know what I did? I just went on her Instagram, clicked on message. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Hit her up with some message. She responded. Hey, awesome. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, we just have conversations back and forth now because of Messenger. I mean, Facebook in a sense, Messenger, Instagram, Messenger, same concept. Whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Pinterest, all these other things. If they have an inbox format, very, very high open rates. One inconsiderate one I would, I would kind of put on the pause there would be LinkedIn. LinkedIn, most people know. LinkedIn is becoming the email, right? I don't know what the official open rates are on LinkedIn, but I guarantee you, you have probably a lot of unread messages on LinkedIn. We all know LinkedIn's becoming a big spam bot. This is one thing we want to make sure Facebook doesn't do as well, is one of the best things that it has is on Messenger for Facebook, for profiles, you cannot automate the message. On a group, yeah, you could, or on a group, uh, on a page, you can use many chat, right? And that gives you the ability to automate the whole conversation. You lose the personality with that. I always try to teach stuff that is going to keep you personable with your audience. It's one thing I don't want you guys to lose when you go into automation, right? Automation is powerful. It's a great way to build your business. But what you should use it for are the redundant tasks of lead generation and prospecting and qualifying. Once they've checked off those boxes, get personable. Right. Get a person in between that message. I think I've covered a lot of what we should be covering today. Right. Groups, messenger, teaching, collab. Is there anything I missed? I don't think so. Let's see. 
Yay, I've got you coming into my life. Yes, tomorrow. I'm going to be on Lisa's show. It's going to be fun. Uh, I hate to sound uneducated, but I need to break the mindset. How do you use messenger? Oh, this is a great question. So I hate to sound uneducated, but I need to break the mindset. How do you use messenger and grab group into messenger to communicate to new clients? So how you do that, um, you kind of look at it as a way to say thank you. If you just want to just open up a conversation, think about it, right? If somebody was, if you're on a, like, let's say you're on a group. Oh, here, by the way, let's go back to her open rate. She has a 10.4% open rate on her um, her email list, right? 980 cell phone numbers, 80% different people, but I haven't used cell phone numbers well. Ooh, I'll give you some blueprints on that, guys. If you text this number, blueprint or blueprints, you'll actually get my step-by-steps on all of this completely free. I've got some PDFs you guys can get completely free, zero dollars, right? Uh, there's one in there that will show you how to use, it's uh, blueprint number nine in GIFs, okay? It's number nine in GIFs. Uh, so when you text in blueprints, it shows you how to access it and uh, you'll get it for free. There's no upsell. There's nothing for you to buy, nothing like that. It's, it's just right on Manifestation School of Business, so it's free. All right. Um, but, oh, yeah, let's get back into her mindset question. So she wants to know how to use Messenger and grab group into Messenger to communicate to new clients. So I think what you're asking is how do you take somebody that's on a group, like you're making content on a group, and turn that into a conversation on Messenger. If that's the question, here's the answer. I use it as a way to say thank you. If you need to create opportunities, and this is what I'm teaching my members, is make content in there. And everyone who comments on that content, connect with them, right? And say, hey, thanks for commenting on that. I really appreciate it. Simple. I mean, it could just be a thank you, and they may then respond with a question. Always wait in that sense, right? Don't kind of force it down them. Don't be asking, well, oh, do you want my programs and opera? No, stay away from that kind of stuff, Sally Ann. What you want to do is just simply connect with them and say thank you. Kind of like if you were on stage at an event, as if you were like live on a group or posting in a group, it's kind of you grabbing the mic at an event and somebody goes and tells you a comment after you get off stage, right? They're telling you, oh man, this is great, right? They give you some type of compliment. What do you typically do? You say, thank you. You have gratitude. That's all you need to do. You don't have to go with this big all paragraph and links, nothing like that. No invites. Just simply say thank you to open up the conversation. They may have a question that you can then lead them into another opportunity. So they may say, you know, you're live. You were talking about this in the group. And I thought that was really cool. What did that mean when you said this? Right now that can go to, you know, that's a great question. I would love to show you kind of a breakdown of how that works. It'll take me a little bit longer than this message. How about we hop on a call? What's your cell phone number? Bam, going right into that data. So that's something that you could utilize. And then there's a system I teach you in that blueprint, number nine. Uh, there's a first system in there, number one. It's the five systems, how to clone yourself with systems of automation. First one in there is text magic. That's how you can not have to do copy, paste, texting. You can just check off a box and text hundreds of people simultaneously. Uh, so that's a po powerful, powerful strategy. So I think other than that, I think we've got a pretty good breakdown for you guys today, a little over 30 minutes for this broadcast, which is kind of where I wanted to stay at. Uh, in case you're jumping in a little late and wondering why Manny's all in this weird look, uh, I wanted to show you guys today how to create speaking opportunities in your pajamas. So just to recap, we have four different methods that we were kind of hangman in it today uh, where you guys could guess what those words are. Groups, we talked about how to create groups, how to join groups that have your audience in them and serve, not sell to create opportunities. Messenger, conversations, 90 plus percent open rates, and you're going to have a very powerful way to connect with pretty much anybody. Everybody's on Facebook, right? So a great way to open up conversations. And if you're looking for speaking opportunities, just scroll through your newsfeed. Someone is going to be posting about it. If you don't have people posting about events, get event producer friends. You're friends with me. <laughs> get people like me. Connect with the people that I'm having at my events. And also like Lisa, for example, she's got her own show, right? Connect with Lisa. Here, right here. I'll pop her in here. Lisa, Lisa Bubar. Connect with her. She's got her own show. She'll interview on her show. 
right? As long as you got a cool business, you're not some creepy weirdo, uh, then you should be good. <laughs> She's probably going to verify that you're a Network Give Influence member first, but uh, don't worry about that. Chill out. Messenger, uh, powerful, powerful way. Teaching. This is just going into the fact that we got to stop trying to sell information, right? We are in a digital age that information is saturation, all right? We have more information than we can possibly consume, which means is no scarcity. There's no value in trying to sell information. People aren't implementing it anyway. They buy it and only one out of three are gonna read your book. So, I mean, what's the point of selling books? I give the books away. I don't sell. I'll give it away and uh, just give me your cell phone number. That way I can actually ask you questions about my book and you can respond to that. <laughs> and then just me just throwing it out there in the, in the middle of nowhere. And then collab. Collab is finding people who are already influential to the market you want to reach and creating a win-win scenario to collaborate with them. Find a way to solve a problem they're not solving or find a way to support a cause that they support. Every time I've collaborated with an influencer or a celebrity, it's because of one of those two methods. I've either solved a problem they couldn't solve themselves or I brought awareness or funding to an idea that they have a passion for, right? A cause, a nonprofit, Right? It's either I've donated to nonprofits and got access to hang out with some cool celebrities and meet and create relationships. Right, I sponsor, for example, uh, a golf tournament for George Lopez's Kimby Foundation. All of a sudden, I've got all of his celebrity friends hand delivered to me. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. Cedric the Entertainer, freaking uh, who else? Uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, all these huge celebrities that are like, hey, we'd like you to meet Manny Lopez. Manny Lopez is a founder of like crazy just because I just. I mean, and they think I'm somebody special. No, I just donated, sponsored an event. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not hard to create collaborative opportunities. You've got to invest in yourself, though. That's one of the things that most people don't get is they think opportunities should be handed to them. I don't know where they get that idea. I just think that's that's a little weird. But at the end of the day, um, they'll have to learn the hard way, right? They'll just keep waiting and waiting and the opportunities never show up. Yet other people like myself will go create those opportunities. I'll go research and find a way, right? When Les Brown, right? How do I keep collaborating with Les Brown, you ask, right? Les Brown is all over my community. We've interviewed him multiple times. We've had him hire students from our, our thing. He's mentoring our programs. How, right? Well, a couple of years ago, he had just finished a battle with cancer, 2014, 70 years old. And he goes, Manny, I need to figure out how to get to a million followers on Facebook. Tony Robbins is at a million followers. I'm just as good as that guy, word for word. And I said, let's, let's make it happen. I just got named one of the best by Facebook when they hit a million advertisers. And I'm like, this is the strategies you should be using on Facebook. You should stop posting these long chapters. Just do videos, man. They love to hear that smile. They want to see, they want to hear that laugh. They want to see that smile. And that's where things started changing around. Of course, he's got all their amazing strategists and things like that on his team. But then I said, well, let's also take a new project on because Facebook, I could tell your team how to do that. You guys are going to kick ass. You'll get to a million followers. So that's not going to be an issue. He had a half a million at that point. Getting to a million was not an issue. It was the fact that he needed more speaking opportunities. I was like, well, what's the point of this? You get to a million fans and what? You, you're retired. You checked off the box. You're done. I mean, what's the point of getting to a million? It's like, well, really, I need speaking opportunities. I need people that are calling me I have a, a team that isn't getting called. They're there nine to five. Uh, I've got a form they can fill out on my website. I go to his website. It's click on contact, put in name, email, phone number, and note. That was it. I was like, oh, Les, we got to fix that. So I said, how about we build you an app? And we don't tell any of your people about it, right? We're just going to let the people who are already looking for it find it, right? And we're going to go ahead and create a simple way where the first thing that happens when they go into that app is they're going to see an option that says book less today. Or it's just going to simply have an option for them to click a button as soon as they go into the app and they're able to then fill out a long questionnaire. Actually, all the questions your team would ask them up front. So by the time they get to you, they're already ready. And this is what we built them. Book less today. It's the first thing you see when you go to his app, right? Book less today. When you click on it, it goes to a questionnaire. You fill it out. We got him over a thousand speaking opportunities when nobody could get his phone to ring, right? We didn't even need his phone to ring. We needed his email to pop up. 
right? And so it just filled out a simple questionnaire, the easy peasy stuff. This wasn't rocket science, folks. It's just literally asking the questions that we need to know before hiring less plan. Same thing you should all be doing in your business. Have a simple questionnaire for people to get to know how to hire you, right? And get it in a sense where you can put something as a do-it-yourself version on the other side. You maybe not be as popular as Les Brown, right? We can't all have cool hair like him. <laughs> did you see the interview we did with him? He had that little flat top thing. Oh, thing was so cool. Um, but at the end of the day, it's as simple as this, guys. You've got to create that digital version of you. You've got to go out there and serve your way to success. You can't kind of do the same thing we did 20 years ago. Don't do that value ladder opportunity stuff. Like, uh, it cringes me when I hear people doing that, that they're doing the value ladder option. I got my $7 program, then my $20 program, then my $50 program, then my $250 program, then my, my $997 program. But really what I'm trying to sell is my 5K program, but no one's going to get there because I'll spend all my time on the $20 programs. That's the problem most people are having if they're stuck in that road. Throw all that away. Give all of those low-end programs away in exchange for a cell phone number. That's it. Literally, all those little programs you're selling, set it up as a text magic keyword response. Done. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You'll have an awesome day. Always remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. That goes serve your way to success. Deuces. Where's my ending? There it is. Bye-bye.